Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our textbook is week 3 and today inshallah we will start a new unit that is called a healthy life finding out time on pages 74 and 75. This lesson will be presented by me teacher Mazen Harbi and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al-Aqil. So let's begin. Our objectives in today's lesson we hope that at the end of this lesson you will be able to build up questions and answers about healthy life and also to use should and should not in sentences so what we're going to do today inshallah is that we're going to make questions and answers about healthy life and also to use should and should not in different sentences so to begin with, let's open our books on page 74. Let's open our books on page 74. Now on page 74, finding out times, listen and practice, then test a partner. So what we're going to do with the first lesson or the beginning of this lesson is to answer one important question, which is, what should you do to live a healthy life? And what exactly we mean a healthy life? So healthy life is where we can be fit, where we uh, can uh, do uh, activities and habits that do not affect us, where we can sleep early and have enough sleep and eat good food to help us when doing our exercises, when we go to school, when we go to mosque, or when we do different activities. This is what do you mean by a healthy life? So now, so now we're going to read about the good things that we should do to have a healthy life. And also we're going to read bad things that we should not do to have, if you want to have a healthy life. So now with the first exercise, we're going to listen and practice about the good things that me and you should do. So I'm going to say them and I would like you to listen to them and say them also after me. So, good things I should do. Number one, I should get up early. I should get up early. So, this is the first thing or this is the first good thing that we should do in order to have a healthy life, which is, I should get up early. If I want to uh, have a healthy life, I should get up early to, before I go to school, first to pray Al-Fajr prayer and also to go to, the, uh, to school early. This is one of the things or the good things that I should do to have a healthy life. Now let's read the second thing. The second thing about the good things I should do. Number two, I should drink a lot of water. I should drink a lot of water. So the second thing that we should do, the second good thing that we should do to have a healthy life is that we should drink a lot of water because it will keep us hydrated, it will ke uh, keep us active all the time. We should drink a lot of water when we get up, when we go to school, and when we come back to school and before we sleep at night, it's always important that we always drink a lot of water. Now this is about the second thing that, or the second good things that we should do. Now let's listen to the third thing. So number three of the good things I should do. Number three is, I should eat three meals a day. I should eat three meals a day. Now the third thing of the good things that we should do is to only eat three meals a day because this is what will keep us fit, 
what will keep us in good shape and also active all the time. So eating too much is bad and not eating as well or eating to uh, uh, little uh, meals is, uh, or uh, only short meals, this is also bad. So it is important that we have enough meals for one day, which is three meals a day. Now, let us move on and listen to the fourth thing of the good things we should do. So, number four, the good things that I should do, number four, which is, I should brush my teeth well. I should brush my teeth well. So, after a meal and before I go to sleep, it is important that I do brush my teeth and take care of my teeth every day. This is will keep me fresh and also will uh, uh, have or preserve the, uh, the safety of my teeth is when I brush it every day. So, number five of the good things that I should do. Number five is, I should do some exercises. I should do some exercise. So, when we want to have, or if you want to have a good life or a healthy life, we, it is important that we practice, we do exercise. So, whether we uh, uh, jo uh, go walking every day or whether we go to the gym or whether we ride bicycle, it is important that we exercise. We do a lot of exercises every day. This is will keep us in good shape. So, doing exercises is an important thing that we should keep in mind. And also, number six, and the last thing about uh, of the good things that we should do is, I should go to bed early. I should go to bed early. Now, the last thing of our day of the things that we should do is, we should go to bed early. We should sleep early so we can start with number one, which is getting up early. So these are six important things, six important good things that we need to bear in mind and keep it in our mind if we want to have a good or healthy life. So first, we should get up early and also we should drink a lot of water and also number three, we should eat three meals a day and number four, we should brush our teeth. And number five, we should do some exercises. And finally, we should go to bed early. So just keep this in mind if you want to have a healthy life. And also, we do have something or bad things that we should not do because it won't help us if we want to have a healthy life. So, let's read about the bad things that we should not do because it will uh, not help our healthy life. So, now, of the bad things that I shouldn't do. Number seven, I should not eat too much junk food. I shouldn't eat too much junk food. So, what do you mean by junk food? It is the type of food that is made uh, uh, quickly, like what we call fast food. So, eating junk food is not recommended because it will have effects on your body and also on your health. And this is, of course, will not help to have a healthy life. So, you should not eat too much of junk food. Too much. Eating too much of this food is a bad thing that we should not do. Now, let's listen for the second bad thing that we shouldn't do. 
The second bad thing we shouldn't do, number eight, is I shouldn't drink too much soda. I shouldn't drink too much soda. So, soda or soft drinks are the kind of drinks that we should not drink too much of it because, of course, it will affect our bodies and also it will affect our health. So, we should not drink soft drinks or soda. Now, the next or the third bad thing that we shouldn't do is number nine. I shouldn't watch too much TV. I shouldn't watch too much TV. Because if we watch too much TV, this is will make us lazy. This is will make us not willing to do some exercises, maybe doing our homework or going to for a walk or even do a, other activities that which will be useful more than sitting too much on watching TV. So watching too much TV is one of the things that or the bad things that we should not do. Now also the fourth thing of the bad things that we shouldn't do is number 10. I shouldn't stay up late. I shouldn't stay up late. It's not good thing or it is a bad thing if you stay up late and not uh, and not getting to bed early. Why? Because this will not help you if you want to get up early. It will make you wake up late and maybe you will lay late for school and late for the Fajr prayer. It will not help you if you sleep or stay up late. So it is important to have a healthy life to sleep early so you can get up early and go uh, to school. And also the, uh, the next thing about the bad things that you shouldn't do, which is number 11. I shouldn't play too many computer games. I shouldn't play too many computer games. Playing too much or too many computer games is the same as watching too much TV. This is will make you lazy. This is will make you forgot things and important things, maybe doing your homework or going to do some activities or helping your family with different things. So, it's not a good thing, it is a bad thing if you spend too much time on your computer games. And finally, one of the bad things that you should not do is number 12. I shouldn't skip breakfast. I shouldn't skip breakfast. Breakfast is an important meal that we, you must be uh, keen on having breakfast every day. Because uh, when you have good breakfast, then the rest of your day will be good because you are active, you are, uh, you're getting up early, and you had a good food or a good meal in the beginning of your day. So this is, will enhance the rest of your day. So it's very important that you should not skip breakfast. So now, let's have a... Um, talk about the bad things that we should not do. We said on number seven, we shouldn't eat too much of junk food and also we shouldn't drink too much of soft drinks and soda. And number, eight, uh, number nine, we shouldn't watch too much TV and also we should not stay up late. We should sleep early and we shouldn't play too many computer games and finally we should not skip breakfast because breakfast is important meal. So after reading the good things and bad things, let's, uh, let's test our healthy life. And if you want to do this, let's move on to page 75. Let's move to page 75. On page 75, we're going to do a healthy life test. And how this test uh, will be like? 
First, if you can say if you live a healthy life every day or not, you need to try this test. So, number one, I would like you to practice the frequency markers and do the questionnaire to add up the total score and talk to a partner about your score. So, let me help you in doing this uh, questionnaire so you can know whether you have a healthy life or not. So, here on your books, you will see a table similar to this where you can see these points if uh, we're going to uh, talk about different activities if you are doing these activities then you need to decide or you need to tell us about the frequency how many time are you doing these thing if it's the first one i always do then you will have 10 points if it's the second one i usually do you will have eight points if it's this one, I sometimes do it, you will have five points. And here, I usually don't, you will have two points. And the last one, if you never do it, you will have zero point. So let's read about these activities and decide. So tell me, how many times do you get up early? Do you always get up early? If you do, then you need to put a check mark or tick mark here and how many time you eat breakfast if you do it you always do eat breakfast then you put a tick mark here if you sometimes eat in pre uh, breakfast then you should put a, a tick mark here now let's move on to number three how many time do you go to bed early so is it every day you always go to bed early or is it sometimes or you never go to bed early? So choose one of them. Let's say for example that you usually go to bed early. So here we're going to put a mark here. And number four, how many times you brush your teeth? If it's every day then you should choose the, the first one which is I always do. And how many time you play with your friends? How many time? If you are every day you play with friends, then you'll choose the first one. If it's you usually don't because it's on weekends or on occasions, then you will choose the last one, which is this one. I usually don't. And here, how many times you play outside? How many times you play outside? Maybe not every day and not every weekend so we can say sometimes so and the, here I'm giving only an example so here we put a mark and finally how many times do you take a bath or shower so you can say I uh, sometimes take a shower or I usually do so here you need to put a mark uh, here so after you finish and after you answer these questions, what you need to do is to uh, count the or calculate the, uh, the number uh, that you got here. So here, for example, here I always do, here you have 10 points and other 10 points, then this is what will uh, uh, makes it 20 points. So here we're going to write 20 points. And the next one, here we have 8 points and other eight points then here we'll have 16 points 16 points and next here when we say i sometimes do these activities then this is will leave us with 10 points and finally here we have only two points so as you can see here here we have 20 points 30 points 40 points here we have 48 points so after i count all of uh, the uh, grades or points i make what is left here we have what will determine if we have good life or not so if you got from 50 to 70 points then you are living a very healthy life and if you got from 30 to 50 because we got uh, 48, you will have a so-so healthy life. 
and it's not very healthy life and it's not bad healthy life it is in the middle but if you got from less than 30 points then you don't think uh, you, hel you live a healthy life so try this test maybe you can do it with your classmates or with family members try it and tell me how many points did you get so at the end it's important that you say two things that you should or you should not do about healthy life and also to say if you live healthy life or not after you're doing the healthy life test so now we have reached the end of our lesson thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time